reason they didn't let me through was because it would probably be too strenuous on me, you know, mm-hmm. um, and, and being no, separated from the baby, you know? And so I yeah. was like, wow, you know, I, I, ugh, I'm just happy. I'm, you, have you know, to and be I'm blessed. There yeah. 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 It's a, it's a lot. It seems like a lot, even when it's on the TV. Yeah, yeah, it you know, is. It seems it's, like it's, it's, a, it's stressful. A I had a moment. I told, I told Oshiremi, um in a conversation we had outside of this that, that um, I had a moment. I had a week where I literally like broke down. I couldn't take it. I have been away from my, you know, being away from a one year old for a month and a half is like. It's stressful. You know, they they the child is in themselves just kind of. They blossom so quickly, you know, and I came back and or when I saw her again, she was like an entirely different person, you know, and yeah. that was so hard for me. It's hard for me. It was hard for me. I would Skype, you know, and try to, you know, do face chat every day. But as a mother, it was one of the most strenuous processes. The worst part for me was being away from my children so long and so at such a tender age, you know, because one year old, a month and a half on a one year old is like three years. You know, they're yeah. like an entirely different person. <laughs> and they so, grow up, they get bigger. <laughs> yeah, you know. And, they're walking, um, they're doing uh, everything. Yeah, you know. And she was, I mean, she, saying full sentences when I got back. I'm like, oh, oh my God, I missed, I missed it. You know, but um, but I, 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 what I did was I kept in mind that all of this was for them. You know, for yeah. me, it was being, for being, for me, it was being able to provide for them. Like stable. You know. Stable and not yeah. depending on the state and not depending on welfare on and not depending else. on, you know, it was for, for me, it was about fighting until I could, you know, because even if I hadn't been on, on Idol, I still would have been fighting to, you know, to provide for them, to earn a living for them. You know what I mean? No, I understand. I'm it's really worker. hard right now. Yeah. So. I've been on unemployment, I think, a year and a half, and I hate it. I hate waiting for a check in the mail. You know? And then they mess yeah. up, and then you don't get right. it for two weeks later. <laughs> right, right. Or your, or and you know, your your food stamps get cut off, and then you got to go and go through the whole. Stand in line. Oh my God, it's it's it's. And then they it, tell you know, you're gonna get less than what you have. You know, and exactly. It's just a bunch of bull. They try to work you because you are Hard. the minority in the, you know, in the whole mm-hmm. world, and they're just like, oh well, who cares? You know, you're gonna get this it's, or you're gonna get that. Yeah, it's a very hard situation, and so it's and there's so many people right now that are actually going through it that it's 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 kind of sad, you know. And I just yeah. I just try to try to motivate people to not give up and just you know uplift themselves and try to try to keep fighting because you know this is a hard time in this nation. Period. You yeah. know, it's it's a hard time, and so for me it was it was just about still fighting. You know, even yeah. even with without the. Um, the the idol thing, you know, I had just gained my position as supervisor. I fought my way. I had been working there five years at Summerfest, and I was like, <laughs> I want this supervisor position. You know, I feel like yeah, I've been here. I I've trained people. I've got, you know, some of the people that I've trained are your best crew leaders. You know, like, let, it's my time, you know. And so yeah. I actually got supervisor only to come back to them a year later and say, well, you're going to have to offer the supervisor position to somebody else because I'm not coming. Back, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you know, so somebody else well, will be blessed with that, that supervisor position, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh. it totally. You know, that's what I say when people ask me, "Why don't you go work at McDonald's or why don't you go work at Burger King?" It's like, you know what? I feel as a person, I'm 27. I have more to offer than flipping a burger or giving an order or taking an order. I mean, that was like younger kind of in your yeah, life. Yeah, it's you know? training for now, a younger. Well, yeah. 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 And so yeah. I'm like, and I don't want to take that and not go anywhere. Be a manager for eleven dollars an hour. What's that going to be for the rest of my was, life? You know. But hey, for some people it works. But if it's not for you, then it's not for you. That's what I say. Yeah. You know. You have so, other things to go for. You know. I think yeah. that I have to probably move to Los Angeles one at least sometime because I've always been in LA. I've just never lived there. There's so much more right. opportunity anywhere you go. You could get fired and hired the next day. Yeah, you know, yeah, and that's why I'm trying to move not... out to L.A. right now. <laughs> yeah, so. I love L.A., the climate, the everything, yeah. I, just the yeah. clubs, anything, the whole scene. Yeah, it's just yeah. so, Bye. probably me and you. They should name a okay. drink after you because you're just so strong. Uh-huh, <laughs> it's going to hit right. you the first time. I like time. that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. If it's a Naima drink, it'll hit you the first yeah. time. Yeah. 
All right. I like your voice, but I just wanted to call in and say um, congratulations on everything. It makes everybody think of themselves in different ways that anybody can make it in anything. You know, I could go to L.A. and become, who knows, something big, not American. Anything. Can't sing. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Wait. All I say first is visualize it. Visualize it, feel it, and go for it. You know, yeah, that's all I can to. say because that's, that's all I do in life. I visualize things. I go, ooh, it would be wonderful if I could do this. And and somehow, you know, I believe in, in speaking things into existence. I believe that we create our own realities. You know what I mean? So that's a big that's a big thing for me is that word sound power. You know, you speak it, it it it, it and it manifests. It becomes you, you know? almost. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, I understand. I totally understand. Yeah. We'll take care, and then someday if we ever meet up at one of your meet and greets, if you have one, I'll think of a drink by then, something strong. All right. <laughs> and I'll let you know, and you'll remember me. <laughs> Um, yes. I would bring it with me, but I don't think we can get drunk at the meeting. Uh, <laughs> Although maybe after. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring a virgin one, a virgin one. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, I will. It'll be okay. like fried in vanilla Coke or something. Some Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was All good right. talking to you. You take Very care, Very nice okay? talking to you. You too. Thank All right. you. All right. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Diamond, we got one more person that's able to wait and sub in. Patiently on the phone. Thank you so much. Eight seven zero. You're on the air with Naima Adedapo. Hi, Naima. Hi. Who's this? <laughs> Madison Wilson from Whitehall, Arkansas. All right, Madison. <laughs> I love it. How old are you? Um, thirteen. All right. That's what's up. <laughs> so I got a teenage fan out there. I got a couple teenage fans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I loved you on American Idol. I miss you thank on there. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I have yes. a question. What was your oh. favorite part of American Idol? Um, was it? My favorite part of American Idol was being able to perform in front of 30 million people <laughs> at one time. And shopping and <laughs> shopping was a huge. It was so fun. Like I've never been on, uh, I guess like a shopping spree, or I've never, you know, just had somebody say, okay, well we're we're gonna buy you an outfit for this performance. And I'm like, really? You just gonna buy it? I, I just I don't have to pay for anything. And it was <laughs> it was just it was it was awesome for me. And then the the other big part for me was being able to um build relationships with the artists that you see on you know, that you see on the show. They were they're such great people and um and I feel like I've built um relationships that will last a lifetime. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Did you get, oh, it, get the clothes or did you have to return them? I got All the clothes <laughs> I got to keep them. Well, I got to keep the ones that weren't like some of the things I have. Sadly, sometimes I have expensive taste, and so um, some of the things that I chose or picked out or designers kind of presented to me um, were like really expensive, and so I had to like borrow that and then return it. But <laughs> but they were happy because I wore you know their clothes on the on on TV and kind of promoted them. So. Um, but all the other stuff I got to keep. I got a whole lot of shoes, and that's what I'm excited And accessories. I'm all about <laughs> shoes and accessories. You can wear sweatpants and a T-shirt, but if you had the right accessories, oh, you will be all right. You will be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Which contestant do you miss the most? Um, I will say that I miss Jacob the most. He he was, like, one of my really good friends while I was there. Um, and he helped me, you know, he supported me. He, he kind of shook me up when I was, when I would go into my little crying spell about missing my children. He'd be like, okay, you're here for them. Let's just dry up the tears, you know, and, and he would, you know, he was, he was very supportive and, um, and, and we supported one another. And I mean, but it was like that with all of us, you know, it was like that with all of us, but, um, I will say that Jacob and, and Haley, oh. I love Haley. I, well, I love them all. I can't say I like. I miss all of them. They're they're good people, you know. But I did the mm-hmm. the person that I got closest to um, was Jacob because he's he's got a good spirit, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was it so, hard leaving all of them? What'd you say? Was it hard leaving all of the contestants? 
it was a little hard, but I was happy to come home to see my family. I was happy to come home and see my girls and my husband. And I know that I'm going to be with them all summer. You know, we're going on tour together. So, you know, it's kind of like it was. It wasn't like goodbye. It was more like see you later. You know, so it was. It was. It was, it was a good experience, and I'm really happy um, with everything. Um, I don't. I don't think I would have anything differently. Actually. Yeah. All right, it's good talking to you, Naima. It was very nice talking to you, Miss Madison. I love your spunk, and you keep on doing you, okay? All right. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Okay, this is Have our last night. caller. I don't know if okay. you're eight, eight, um, 805. Did we already talk to 805? 805, I don't think so. I don't know. 805? Are you there? Yes. Hello? 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 Oh, my God. I was Are still we... listening to the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. We talked to you already. Uh, okay. It's a little delay okay. there. It's a little delay. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Okay. Hello? We already spoke to him. Oh, okay. Right? Oh, he was just, oh, he was oh. just on the line still. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Okay, Naima. all right. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> We're going to go ahead. Thank you, Naima, for staying on the on the air for an extra 17 minutes to listen and to talk to the rest of your fans. No I am problem. so grateful for you coming on here. I hope when your album drops that you will definitely come back to Omo Dudu Our Radio and talk to us. And if you have any other topics or anything that you want to talk to, talk about, you have an open invitation to come on. Uh, just get in touch with me. Um, yeah. We will be really honored to have you back to talk to you about, you know, so many of the great topics that um, me and you have already spoken about. Some of them go further into some of the topics that uh, you talked about um, right. today and everything. And so we're just really excited. Um, I was just so excited to be able to have you on. And thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule and talking to yeah. our listeners everything. Well, I would I want to thank you for having me. I want to thank all of the people who did tune in and listen and I want to thank all of the, you know, the fans who supported me through this whole run. I do want to um take one more minute just in case there's anybody who's in the surrounding area in Milwaukee or in Chicago to say come on out to Buckhead at 8 p.m. on um on the 8th on um, May 8th, and we're going to be having a good time. Ross Movement will be playing. Sindola will be playing. We'll have some B-Boys in the house. Um, we're giving out free Summerfest tickets, and it's just going to be a really good time. So even if you're in Chicago, maybe to make the drive up, it'll be a, it'll be a good time. And so I just want to, and I want to give thanks to the ancestors, and I want to give thanks to all of those who came before me and paved the way for me uh-huh. to be able to uh, to stand up the way that I do. So. That's right. Well, I think that was our prayer right there. Don't you think that's our closing <laughs> prayer? <laughs> that was good. Yeah, it's pretty much, you know, in a, in a short amount of time. Yeah. 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 And Thank you for uh, having keep me. up the great work. Keep representing yourself. Keep representing your culture, your family. Uh, we really do appreciate you, and much love to you and your family, your babies. Um, I love to hear you speaking so wonderfully about your husband. Um, yeah. I want to be like you when I grow up. I can't wait to be able to talk about my husband like that. Soon come, soon <laughs> but, come. <laughs> yeah, the creator's working on me and working on him, and when we come together, we, you know, going to be a powerhouse. Oh, be a like beautiful thing. Are, are going to yeah. be doing, yes, yeah, so. Um, yes, marriages, yes. families, they rule the world, man. That's that's what we always see, say here on Omo Do Do Our Radio. It's so real. It's much, real. much luck to you, and be sure to get in touch with us when your album gets ready to drop. Uh, we want to close out with one of your songs. We've done all five of them, so tell me which one is your favorite out of the five, and we're going to close out with that. Um, I will tell you, well, I don't know. Performance-wise, Dancing in the Street was one of my favorites, but uh, vocal-wise and being able to put my artistry inside of it, Umbrella was definitely um, my favorite. <laughs> okay, we'll do Umbrella. Yeah, um, sounds good. We're on Omo Dudu Art Radio every Tuesday and Thursday evening from 9 p.m. 
to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard.